Hey, hey, I'm back. And I'm doing another disrespectful moments in anime history. This is number six. And I'm skipping number five. Specifically because I had no idea who Sukuna was until I watched it. And I was like, shoot. I really, really, really want to watch Jujutsu Kaisen. Especially on this channel. I really want to do reactions on it eventually. But I'm watching a, a bunch of shows before then. But I don't want to get spoiled. And I'm going to skip it. Maybe I can watch it in the future. But I really don't want to get spoiled because I really want to watch that show. So I'm going to move on to episode 6. But I definitely watched Naruto for sure. So it looks like B is here. Um, and I'm excited. I'm excited to see what they're going to do with this one. <laughs> this is definitely my favorite series um, in this channel, though. I love this disrespectful moments. Because God know, bro. <laughs> This is when it just went from zero to 100. This man's Popovich started whooping. Bro started to hit it with the combos. Hit, put, good check, nigga. He literally slapped all the personality out of her in Super. You know how she literally has no personality left? It wasn't when she cut her hair, guys, okay? It was this fight. It was all gonzo. It's gone. <laughs> I liked Videl, but what happened? <laughs> we know what happened. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the most disrespectful moments in anime history six. The series that we observed some of the most outlandish, vile, and disgusting acts ever committed and to be seen by the human eye. And since this is episode six, why not put six moments instead of four? Okay. Because y'all be liking Oh, me. so last episode, oh, I probably couldn't, I probably didn't need to skip it then, but it wasn't just a Jujutsu Kaisen episode. Maybe I'll go back to it then. These you, I don't long ass videos. I don't know why, but hey, I mean, if you like them, I guess I'll keep on doing them. But anyways, but uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay. All right, ladies. Okay. Wait. I watched. I ne I didn't really finish Bleach. Um, I watched like maybe half a season. A season. I don't know what Cyberpunk is. Um, and I did watch Classroom of the Elite. Season one. I watched basically everything. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Our first moment. Itachi Little Bro and Sasuke. Ah, yes. The time where we didn't know anything. The time that we thought that this man killed his entire clan for absolutely no reason at all. But anyways, as we know, Itachi and Kisame pulled up. To he was cooler when was he was evil. Games, bro. Before they even got to Naruto. This man Itachi <laughs> put Kakashi in the nasty. This was insane. Like, oh Before my gosh. I even got to Naruto. This man Itachi put Kakashi in the nastiest genjutsu. He was stabbing this nigga for 72 hours. Bro, but guess this what? man on the stake. Absolutely torturing, bro. And he was like, oh my Kakashi. Don't give up on me now. We're just getting started. We still have 71 hours. 59 minutes and 59 seconds. But guess what? And this man Kakashi like, oh, nah, bro. You telling me it's only been one second? <laughs> That's the craziest part. I was tripping when I saw that. Like, 72 hours of this, but in real life, it's only been one second. What oh, the hell? Oh, my God. Like, so he wakes up. And it's been one second. Finished torturing this man for basically three days in the water, Sukiyomi. Bro pulls up on Naruto and he's like, Hey, what's <laughs> good, little nigga? Go on and uh, huh, take a step outside for us real quick. Yes, that's right. Mm, Sami had us drooling from the mouth. It can't wait to <laughs> gobble you up and swallow you. Yo, Kisame, shut the f up! <sighs> this nigga pain really partnered me with this SD ass shark. You're such a buzzkill, Itachi. Have some fun. So then Sasuke pulls up, and bro is absolutely livid. And this man Itachi like, oh, wow, look who it is. If it is my adolescent pain in the ass little brother. <laughs> Looks like you're not that much of a bitch than the last time I saw your little punk ass. So this man Sasuke just rushes this man with a Chidori. But bro destroys the wall. To the side and grabs his hand, and he's like, wow. <laughs> 
Is this all you got, little nigga? <laughs> but why did he have to destroy the wall in the process? Every time I see that, so like, I'm like, dramatic effect. But bro slaps his sh to the side and grabs his hand. And he's like, wow. <laughs> Is this all you got, little nigga? I really left your sorry ass alive for this. So bro shatters his wrist and looks at him and he says, I have no interest in you, little boy. So bro kicks this man across the entire hallway and he got this man slumped sitting in tornado drill position up against the wall. But then Sasuke got up again and started talking. So he started running at man. But Itachi was like, little boy, if you don't sit up, down. And bro started beating him. And Naruto's just watching it like, oh my god. This is <laughs> <beating> his ass. <laughs> Thank God I don't have any family. Even Jiraiya's <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> Could it be me? You're gonna have to be sick to jump me. Then Itachi picks this man up and starts choking him on the wall. And he says, Oh, as weak as ever, I see. Looks like you still a little punk ass bitch. Allow me to. And you always will be. The trauma. Oh my gosh. Uh, hello? Hey, yo, where is everybody at? This better not be no damn prank. Yo, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, God, why is everybody passed out right now? Oh. Oh. God, no. Auntie? Uncle? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Them niggas ain't breathing. Them, them niggas dead. I just teleported to this big ass fucking door. Why am I shaking in my boots? Wait, wait. I don't even have my fucking shoes. Why are my toes out? Hello? Mom? Yeah. It isn't my little boy. Hey, hey, bro, what the f going on? <laughs> Nigga, are you blind? <laughs> I obviously killed these niggas. But, 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 but why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so little do you know, Sasuke. Don't worry about to it. <laughs> save you the trouble. I'll start off with mother, that lazy, lousy bitch, always <laughs> making me do the chores. <laughs> Did anybody see that OVA? There was an OVA of literally Itachi making an egg for Sasuke. Watch it. Actually, don't watch it. It was kind of horrible. But yeah, he was making an, a fried egg for Sasuke. Washing that was the, the entire OVA. Sasuke chores, folding the laundry, washing the dishes. Sasuke, do you know how fucking old that shit gets? And with <laughs> no allowance. But, but, brother, those are just chores. Shut up! Oh, no. And then, father, <laughs> this lazy clown of a bum. <laughs> just the other day, I caught him flirting with a red haired woman from the Uzumaki <laughs> clan. To what? say the least, little brother, he was cheating. <laughs> it, 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 impossible! No, Sasuke. Very possible. Now I shall make you watch them die for 24 hours. Yo, Naruto and Sasuke are brothers. So that Sasuke, that Uchiha pack is hitting. Yeah. Hey, I Itachi's putting that little nigga through the ringer. That's I crazy. Know. Our next moment, killer B dog walking Sasuke. <laughs> okay, bro, bro, I swear I didn't mean to put Sasuke getting dogged twice in a row, but this moment right here, you knew when I first started this series, this was going to come eventually. But anyways, Sasuke and his new little ragtag crew are basically what I like to call them Orochimaru's illegitimate children, decide to pull up on B. Now this man B just vibing, bro. He's just chilling, relaxing, enjoying his day, throwing some bars out and sh And then his ops just pull up to his front door. <laughs> Hey boy, you the eight tails. <laughs> Not just eight tails, lower eight tails. The fuck? What y'all niggas doing on my goddamn lawn, man? Simple. We're about to jump you. Oh, okay, okay. I get the situation. But before we do that, though, y'all heard that new white spice? That what? You thought I was killing you? No. 
Hey, bro, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm gonna <laughs> try to hear that shit. Man, shut your hating ass up. You just mad because you ain't a munch. God, somebody hold me back. I'm about to suck the fuck out of this goofy ass nigga. Goofy? <laughs> Let me see. Through my telescope, I see one, two, three, four. Four goofy ah niggas on my front door. Hey, bro, how about we just quit playing and jump this Dr. Seuss Horton his who rhyming ass nigga? You ain't gotta tell me twice, cut. So they just start jumping B and everybody's just getting molly -wopped. Bruh started twirling the sword on his neck. It was just breaking man's like a Beyblade. He packed this man Jugo up so fast, threw him like a piece of trash, then proceeded to just start dissing him. So then Sasuke finally stepped up. He was like, all right, then, come on, run that fade then. So they start doing all this spinning and stuff. And then they end up stopping. And this man B pulls out a whole ass notepad and starts writing in the middle of a fight. Hey, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, my bad, my boy. Hold on one sec. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that right now. <laughs> my bad, my boy. <laughs> I just had to write down this fire ass verse before I cook your ass. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. <laughs> no. No, 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 bro. This yes, man yes, took yes. The time to start writing down a whole verse mid fight. The straight up lack of respect is appalling. Imagine you fighting a nigga and he say, Oh, my bad, bro. My mama calling. Can you hold real quick? Aww. Bro, stop the fade because he know he's still going to whoop his ass. <laughs> nah, bro. That is wild. That's just disrespectful as hell. So then this man starts using nine sword style and just starts running Sasuke's pocket. <laughs> starts using nine sword style and just starts running Sasuke's Zoro pocket. Zoro would never. Zoro's jealous. Even Sasuke like Wait, I need disrespectful hearing disrespectful as hell. So then this man starts using nine sword style and just starts running Sasuke's pocket. Bro is bagging up for his life. Even Sasuke like, oh god. My shark got can't keep up with Come this on. Thing. So bro started tossing him but around. But I love that scene. Like I love when like eyes like move like, like oh that. My my so nice. Can't keep up with this nigga. So bro started <laughs> tossing him around. Countered his Chidori. Then it was like uh, like a butterfly sting like a bee. <laughs> So then Sasuke gets bailed out for the first time in this fight. And I say first time because this man got bailed out multiple times this fight. So then he started Karin. watching on Karin. Yeah. So then they was like, all right, bro. There's only one way to beat this man. We just gonna have to jump him. So they started jumping him. And this man is still teeing off on him. Look at this movement diff. So they finally ended up landing a hit. So he dipped off for a minute. Bro was like, hmm, so persistent. Bum ass niggas, bro. We smoking that Zaza on this motherfucker. That Uchiha <laughs> that be hit hard as a motherfucker. They don't even know what I'm saying right now, but. <laughs> so bro Dude, goes eight tails, blasts these niggas off of the mountain. Sasuke tries to hit him with a Genjutsu, but bro bypasses it and gives this man the nastiest clothes. Like, bro, that nigga's throat is gone. Shattered eviscerated that man's jaw is broken and they like oh my god impossible sasuke is getting his pockets ran where the f is the plot armor nigga so then b goes into full on eight tails mode then he starts fighting sue gets in this big ass kaiju battle so bro's like who the f you think you was aquaman nigga i eat damn amphibian motherfucker i got something for you uh Bro, what was that? Oh, I think B hit him with that His heat. head. Oh my goodness, bro. He absolutely blasted this man. He literally turned this man into nut. Pause, but look at him. Even Sasuke like, oh my God, bro. We ran up on the wrong nigga. But I mean, we don't know how this fight ended. That plot armor kicked in for Sasuke and he started burning man with a Matarasu. But come on, bro. We all know, bro, this man got whooped. If none of his crew was there, his ass would have been grass. Because the fact that this man took yeah. a time out of yeah. his day to write some bars down right in front of your face, then proceeded uh. to whoop your ass? Nah, bro, you should have been six feet under. All right, uh, next up on the program, 
Grimjaw running Ichigo's pockets. Well, I mean, since uh, Bleach is back, why not put some Bleach in here? But first of all, we need to acknowledge... I don't know who this is. This man, Grimjaw, is a absolute smoke demon. Do I, I know who this is? This crazy ass that just by his last name. Jagger Jack? I can't even pronounce <laughs> that shit. That's how you know he a demon. But anyways, Waco Mundo's most notorious... Wait, no, I think I've seen him. Ichigo and Rukia. And dog wasn't wasting no time. Bro was like, all right, listen up. Uh, which one of y'all the strongest? Like, straight up, like, don't waste my time. So, bro, straight up... <laughs> Fist is Rukia in the stomach. Oh, she looking like my stomach hurt. And Grimjaw <laughs> like, oh, uh, guess it ain't your weak ass. Go ahead and uh, move to the side for me, will you? So then Ichigo tried to attack him, but bro stopped it with his wrist. And bro's like, bro, if you don't get this fat ass butter knife off of me. <laughs> hey, bro, for real though, uh, when you gonna use your Bankai? Huh? Like for real, bro, come on now, transform. You bullshit, you wasting time. Now come on now, chop, Did he chop, know how to? in your ass like that bitch over there. So they started to get the scrapping, and this man Ichigo looked like he could just not keep He didn't up. learn. Bro grabbed his yeah. sword mid swing and looked at him like, really? Is this your Bankai nigga? Man, if you don't get this sorry ass shit out of my face. Bro was for real throwing mans like a rag doll. Then he read this man's movement like a book, grabbed his sword mid swing again. Then he kicked the life out of bro, made him do a whole 360. And he sent mans flying, doing backflips and shit. Made him run no away. Like, then mans blitzed him and kicked the soul out of him. And Ichigo looking like, damn, maybe this soul reaper life ain't for me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no. You see, it just got worse from here. Grimjow started walking him down, picked him up, and started- It looks like it's already over. And like laying the hands on him. Like, yo, <laughs> it got so bad, it started playing this sad-ass music in the background, and Ichigo was just thinking about his life. <laughs> no way! <laughs> got the flashback. Rukia got fisted right in front of him. <laughs> I guess I'm just not him right now. So you can pay <laughs> Flashback no jutsu. Oh, boy, that all you got? You was not big creepy. You sure you the protagonist? Because that was a little too easy, <laughs> my boy. Hey, boy. Time to go home. Oh, shit. Ooh. Host, what's your blind black ass doing here? Hey, boy, I was mad. I ain't going to hold you, cuz. We got to get back to base pronto. Shit, all right, then. Hey, hey, before I leave, though, hey, boy, you best remember my name, the Waco Mundo Demon. You best come back and get it back in blood or else you a bitch. I don't think I saw this. Right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> uh, next up on the program. Spopovich rocked the crazy. world. Yeah, I I'm bringing this one out, bro. Like I yeah, said Yeah, earlier... this one sucks. It's, like, really hard to watch. I, I can't. The like, Dale's it's... world. Yeah, I I'm bringing this one out. Like I said earlier with the B one, this was just inevitable. Ladies and gentlemen, the most brutal beat down in anime history. So as we know- Yo, but I feel like they had to beat her so hard to kind of justify that she needed um, to eat the, the sensu bean. Cause like, they only had like a limited amount, right? But like, she needed it. Like, she really did. That's the only thing, reason why. I feel like they needed to beat her that badly. Just inevitable. Ladies and gentlemen, the most brutal beat down in anime. <laughs> so people wouldn't so complain. As we know, it's the World Martial Arts Tournament, and Videl has to fight Spokovich. And yeah, <laughs> something was wrong with this shit from the jump. I mean, look at this nigga. Motherfucker look like a There was so many things a... wrong with this fight. Like, so him tattooed on his head. So <laughs> they started fighting, and Videl was teeing off on man. It looked like easy money at the beginning. But something was terribly wrong. Bro was not going down at all. And I love how Goku and Vegeta were the first people to notice something was wrong. Goku looked at this and like, yo, you see this <laughs> shit right now? Yeah, hey, that M tattoo on his forehead. I love that. <laughs> I think I'll go one. So of course this man Gohan was oblivious. I was like, yeah, that's my girl, y'all. <laughs> you got this, boo. But then Goku said, yo, she should quit right now. Wait, Dad, what you mean? Yeah, Goku, what the f*** you mean about that? Krillin, shut the f*** up. I'm talking to my son right now. Gohan, tell your girl to quit right now, or you gonna regret it, my boy. Look at her, she's getting her shit. <laughs> hey, girl, you best get the f*** up. I ain't letting no pussy-ass bitch marry my son. Yeah, that's right. Tell her, Chi-Chi. So then Videl starts flying right. <laughs> so then Gohan started to get happy again, but then this man Goku said, hm, stupid idiot. She should just fell out the f***ing ring. 
Dad, come on, bro. You've been gone for seven fucking years and you already caused the problems and shit. Yep, and guess what? I'm still your daddy, bitch. Father knows. His voice, bro. I can't. <laughs> Stupid idiot. She should have just fell out the fucking ring. Dad, come on, bro. You've been gone for seven fucking years and you already caused the problems and shit. Yep, and guess what? I'm still your daddy, bitch. Father knows best. I mean, look at him, Gohan. He doesn't even look sane. So then Videl kicked this man's head so far, his head did a 180. But then bro got back up bro? and fixed his head. Nope, nope, nope. This is when you should have quit. Because God, no, bro. This is yeah. when it just went from zero to 100. This yeah, right here. Bro, bro started to hit it with the combos. Hit, put, good check, make it. Oh, oh, Lord, sweet Jesus. Somebody get in the ring and help this bitch. Then bro started hitting her with more combos. Then he broke her back. Then bro started beating her. No, bro, this is stupid. Bro picked her up again and said, <laughs> And everybody in the crowd can't watch no more. Everybody like, hey, yo, just stop the fight, bro. Then he hit her with the knee. Oh, my God, bro. GG, GG, GG. Game over, nigga. Then this man, Gohan, just started getting Now he mad, gets mad. Bro. But then Goku. Like, no, no, Gohan, calm down. Goku was like, I, 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 don't do it. I told you to tell him to quit, but he didn't want to listen to me. Now you're going to have to watch it. Bro, this was just terrible. Bro started stomping on her head. But then the other crackhead, Yamu, came in and said, Hey, Spoba, bitch. Quit playing with a little stupid ass and uh, just go ahead and kick her off the ring. Oh, man. Oh, oh it's over. Thank you, baby Jesus. So then Gohan came out, and this man Spopovich looked at him like, <laughs> How does it feel that your girl got her back blown out by me before you? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, next up, Ayana Koji body in class C. So this man Ryun, right? He got old girl up in here getting tortured. Bro pouring this cold ass water on her in this cold room. Trying to give her hypothermia or something. And he throwing that sh Lord, somebody please come and help this little girl. So they trying to get this man Ayana Koji to come out because he's a mastermind of his class. So bro pulls up outside of the place and this big ass nigga, God damn, what the f is they feeding you? What are you doing at some random high school in Japan? You need to take your ass and I don't know where you want to go, the NBA or the NFL. I mean, shit, you can choose, my nigga. You want to play linebacker or you want to play power forward? And his name is Albert? Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Don't make me do it, bro. <gasps> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what? <It's bad>. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. Ain't no way in hell you the mastermind. This shit, I said that you can speak while you wouldn't miss in my presence. Uh, uh, no, no. That's right with all that jibber jabbery shit. Shut the f up. So I got this text message that one of my tools from my toolbox has gone missing. Wait, ho hold on, tool? Yes, <laughs> tool the f You know, goodness and will, I've been using her since day one. I literally set her up to get jumped, got watched her get her ass beat, then blackmailed her right after it. Hey, bro, that's kind of devious. Yes, I know. Cause I'm a devious ass nigga. All right, bro, you may be devious, but uh, you about to get jumped. <laughs> he, oh my God, I forgot his name. It's just so hard to say sometimes, but he's my brother's favorite character. Jump. He loves him. No, you see, you got it all wrong because all of you have fallen into my trap. I personally am about to be all y'all asses with no effort. Please don't jump my baby. Come get your ass off me. <laughs> okay, I like you, boy. Hey, sick him and take his chain. <laughs> Nothing personal. But I'm about to run your pocket. Oh, 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 just wait, Jesus, help me. <sighs> hey, hey, hey. Come on, boy. My turn. <gasps> Albert, you best whip that nigga ass, you D1 prospect. <sighs> I ain't a coochie <laughs> Oh, oh, sweet Jesus. Ah. The full metal alchemist music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sweet Jesus. Ah. <laughs> Not bad. He just beat Albert, a D1 prospect going to Alabama to play linebacker. So which one of y'all next, Mrs. Boldcut or you, f nigga? <laughs> I know Cabrera. <laughs> I mean, it's Cabrera. Slumber, let brother go home. Slumber, let brother go home. Now, it's just me and you, fuck nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, coming from my fade. <laughs> Come on, not bro. done yet. They hyped you up all this time just to be trash. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga, stop playing with my name. Yeah, yeah. 
How you like that? I got you pinned on a wall. If you don't stop talking with your hot ass breath, get your unhygienic ass off me. Damn. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> I f with the wrong nigga. So yeah, this man Ryun just got humbled real quick. Bro took Top Mount and just started beating him. But while bro was getting the sense beat out of him, he just started rambling about like just feelings and stuff. Bro was like, how do you feel, huh? How do you feel? And this man Aya Nakoji looking at him like, uh, excuse me, but uh, Nothing. what are you talking about? Why should I show any emotion to get some weak ass trash like you? Just go ahead I and just shut your mouth. <laughs> yep. But nah, I and a Koji beat the soul out of this nigga. Yeah. Beat him physically and mentally. Look at him after the fight. Bro looking like a Debbie Downer. All his spirit is just gone. Bro got his ass beat so bad he was about to drop out. And then you got a girl right here like, eh, girl, what you, it was a man I used to know. That man gone, shawty. I'm a different man now. <laughs> you bitch ass nigga. You ain't <laughs> Her worth voice. it. Cups of the rose. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, this little Martinez motherfucker is out of control and he needs to be put down now. Jerome, calm down, I know. That's why I'm calling him. Him? Who is him? Jerome, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Who? Him. Oh, oh, oh God, ma'am, oh hell no. Yes, that's right, Jerome. Okay, see, this is this is why I haven't watched the show. Like, I, I just looking at it, like. Him, and we don't even have to call him because he's already here. Hey, hey, what the fuck? Oh, hell no. Hey, yo, when did this big ass Decepticon ass nigga get in here? Oh, Jerome, he's been here the whole time. He's just so powerful. You can't even sense his presence. Wait, what? Th that, that makes no sense. <coughs> Jerome, can you process anything with all that chrome in your fucking dome? This is an anime, nigga. Nothing makes sense. Capiche? Adam, get your ass up. Time to go to work, you fool metal nigga. Take Jerome with you. <laughs> I'm not an alchemist, bitch. So just call me Fool Nigga. Fool Metal Nigga. <laughs> Fool Metal Nigga. Oh God, why did I sign up for this job? Stand back, Jerome. <laughs> you see, my evil plans. He got Shut three eyes. Ugly. Ooh, ooh, I'm special. Please help me. Excuse me, but who the fuck are you? <sighs> Pardon? You ugly three-eyed looking nigga. You best shut the fuck up before I put a motherfucking bullet in your motherfucking skull. Please. Then I'll tell you not to speak. <laughs> so you're the your own fault. Nigga, Adam Smasher. Damn right, boy. <laughs> and you're a nobody. Do you want to know why you're the main character of a prequel? Simple. Because you don't make it to the actual game. Damn. Huh, that's bullshit. Okay, let's not waste any time. Just shut the fuck up and let me make you a pack. Five minutes later. Oh, baby, you so fine. When we get back to the crib, I'm beating up them booty cheeks. Oh, come back here, Romeo and Juliet. You start cross sons of bitches. <laughs> Shakespeare made you a pack and so will I. Oh my God, y'all made it. Now get in the car so we can have our happy ending. Lord have mercy, making me go through all this shit for your dumb ass. <sighs> Foolish girl, trying to challenge me. You see, here's what I'm going to do to you. I am about to teabag the shit out of you and drag my metal chrome nuts across your fucking forehead. Nothing personal. But I have a reputation and a name that I have to keep in good standing. Adam, smash her. Uh. That was good. <laughs> oh, Martin. Bro, I'm not even gonna lie. I barely processed half of that. I have to play. Don't you want to end up like your little girly friend? Smashed your man to a piece of meat. <laughs> Can't even show the body or else I'll probably get a guideline strike. You big team too soon to be? 
now so you came to play. Your metal cheeks are mine. Wait, you have a saying devastating? Damn right, little nigga. You think you're special or some shit? I told you, you're just a prequel character. Look at you on the ground. Now get ready to bend over. Oh, hell no. Yeah. Dude, I think I'm too sober for this. Like, I. Me, bitch? I have two step authentication. Fuck off of my server. Oh, God. Access denied. <gasps> Where the hell do you think you're going, pussy nigga? Get the fuck off of my screen! Eat my metal dick! Look at you. You're just scrap. I told you you wouldn't make the main game. Your sorry ass will just be remembered as a drink in the bar that nobody goes to. <laughs> at, at least my jacket is a DLC. Yeah, like anybody's gonna wear that shit. Eat a dick. Why was I so invested into that? But I had I I couldn't tell you what happened, guys. I could not tell you what happened in that last part. <laughs> um, um, the, there was some Full Metal Alchemist moments, and then Adam Smasher. That's all I remember. Um, and then just like a bunch of weird Mecha stuff. That's why I don't watch Mecha. This is this is the reason why I don't watch Mecha. Um, that didn't help. That that, that didn't help. That doesn't make me want to watch it. <laughs> I can't. Um, but I was actually very invested into that for some reason. I couldn't stop watching it. <laughs> so that was actually really cool and dope. Most of them I knew of, and I'm like, yeah, they needed to be there for sure. Yo, the Tachi Sasuke one was a perfect one to start off with. It was just kind of crazy because it's so iconic and like, it's such, it's, it's flashbacked very often so i'm very familiar with the scene right and when it comes to the b fight i have i've probably seen it one time right so i didn't really remember it as often so it was like cool to get a refresher but it's true sasuke got freaking bodied and like if he was alone it'd be freaking crazy because he would have not survived um because like he got carried well i don't know if he got carried but like literally kareen was there he had his two other freaking people they saved him multiple times yeah it's kind of crazy it's just it's just wild um but i do like it when sasuke says amatarasu it's one of like it's what i look forward to in the show <laughs> um and then what else was there oh yeah so we had the b and then we had oh the videl with slope a bitch um ew, enough said um and then bleach i didn't watch this but like this fight specifically and then yeah the ayan no koji um, yeah, he was cool. I think I only watched season one. And I think this was the end of season one, uh, but I kind of forgot about it. But yeah, I remember like my brother saying like, yeah, I think I think this guy is my favorite character. I know season two is out and I didn't watch it. Well, <laughs> but yeah, um, he is pretty dope. He is like a mastermind. Like I, I, I do enjoy his character. I do enjoy I don't know. It's just dope. But this was a dope ass video and I really enjoyed it. And hopefully seven comes out soon. And maybe I'll go and rewatch episode five, Disrespectful Moments in Anime History, but skip the Jujutsu Kaisen one because I don't want to be spoiled. Okay, let me know if I if I should, if I could. I don't know. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Please like this video so we can boost that algorithm. Go check out Seizure to Champ if you haven't already. And Melon out.